You guys forced me to make this video. What are some reasons to buy the 15 inch MacBook Air over the 14 inch MacBook Pro if the price is similar? Let's talk about it. Okay, welcome back to my channel. So if you watched my channel before, just watch a couple videos, like three days ago I made a video, and I stated why in the world don't upgrade a 15 inch MacBook Air, because as soon as you upgrade it, it becomes $16.99 with extra storage and extra RAM, and that puts it right in the price range with an M2 14 inch, M2 Pro actually, 14 inch MacBook Pro, right? And you get a better screen, you get more ports, you get faster CPU, you get a whole bunch of stuff with that. And so I said that to people and it really ruffled a lot of feathers, it's hilarious. So you would have thought that I was insulting people's grandmas and mothers and everything else. You know, I, I threw a couple of things in there like, you'd be stupid to do this. And people are call coming back to me in the comments saying, you shouldn't be calling people stupid. And I mean, are we that thin skinned as a society now where you can't even get over a YouTube video? I mean, come on, let's, let's, I'm just saying, like this is me here and it's a YouTube video and uh, at the end of the day, let's get a little bit thicker skin there. Anyways, I did ask and I did call out for a lot of people saying, hey, can you give me some ideas on why in the world would you buy the 15 inch, right? Why would you buy a 15 inch MacBook Air when you upgrade it if you're a creator? That was the main thing. If you're a creator, meaning that you need more, you know, at least 16 gigs of RAM, at least 512 gigabyte SSD, why would you upgrade a 15 inch MacBook Air when you can buy the 14 inch MacBook Pro with the M2 Pro chip for the, basically the same cost? It was within 50 bucks. It comes with more ports, it comes with a whole bunch of other features. You watch that video, you'll see what that's all about. So a lot of people just, I got a ton of comments and I got a couple good reasons here in this video on why you should actually still buy the 15 inch even if it's around the same cost, all right? So even if you upgrade that, why should you still consider the 15 inch MacBook Air over that 14 inch MacBook Pro? That's what this video is gonna be about. And then I'm gonna follow it up by some other kind of good factors if you're thinking about the 15 inch MacBook Air why you should still buy it also. And these are not gonna be related to the 14 inch, but just reasons that are basically good for this computer, why should you consider it? So if you like this, you're thinking about buying the 15 inch, watch this video and let's get into it. All right, so the number one reason why people really said you should still buy the 15 inch MacBook Air versus the 14, you know, whatever, 14.2 inch MacBook Pro, if the price was the same, was because of portability. And I agree and I disagree. What they're saying is the thinness of it is really thin, and I agree with that. I think it's 0.45 inches versus 0.65. It's a big difference between the Air and the Pro. The, the, the 14 inch Pro is really a thick box like that, and a lot of people just don't like that, all right? Now, the reason I kind of disagree though is the weight is very similar. I think it's 3.3 pounds for the Air, 3.5 pounds for the Pro. So it's just 0.2 pounds difference, not much. And the actual physical, you know, the width and the length of the actual 14 inch Pro is a lot smaller than the Air. So it's not so much the dimensions there. I think it's the thickness that people are talking about, and it's a little bit lighter. Yes, it is 0.2 pounds lighter, but overall that's not that much so anyways that was kind of the number one reason why you should pick one up is if you like the portability all right another reason a lot of people said hey Craig you're wrong is I want the bigger screen all right I think it's what is it it comes down to I think 15.3 inches versus 14.2 inches so overall they want that big screen now I kind of again I agree with them it's a it's a larger it's about 1.1 inches larger now that overall you're gonna get a little bit more real estate on there I mean obviously the Mac scales everything so you're gonna get some scaling to take effect and depends on the resolutions but I kind of disagree in the sense that the 14 inch is gonna be you know better resolution it's an overall better screen with better blacks and you know things like that so overall I think that's a better screen but as far as the real estate on the, on, you know, the air, it's gonna be a little bit bigger, yes. And that was what a lot of people were kind of pointing out is they don't, they don't need all the power, even though I don't know why, of the Pro, but they want a the little bit bigger screen of the air. So that's one reason you might wanna pick that up is just to, you know, for the screen size and real estate, even though when you scale it and the other one's got better resolution, it's debatable what you can get more on the screen, you know, is, but your eyes have to be pretty good to see it. All right, now this one's kind of tied with the first one. It's basically, I think, it, this could be in the top one as well. And I agree with this one. This is the one I really agree with. A lot of people said, well, wait a second, Craig. The 14 inch is gonna have fans in it, and I don't like fans, right? I want a fanless design. And if you watch my channel, you know that I, the one we're sitting right over here, this 13 inch, I actually love the fanless design on the Air. I love it. So I gotta agree with them. Having no fans, while it's not gonna perform as well, while it gets a little hotter, it just is a little bit nicer when you're sitting in a room and on a couch and you just don't want to hear the fans kick in. And that was a lot of people gave me feedback because they just want this, you know, it to be noiseless, no fans or anything, nothing to worry about there. And uh, I kind of agree. Now, I'm not saying 
Again, it's worth all the advantages of the 14 inch, but overall I'm listening to people and I, and I did mention that before and it is kind of a good thing. So I'll give you credit on that one. That is definitely one. If you don't want fans spinning and listening to that all the time, you want something super quiet, then the 15 inch air is the right one. All right, and finally, this is another one that people kept mentioning, and then we're gonna talk about some other advantages of the 15 inch. This one was really due to the typing, right? A lot of people were saying, now it's not so much the portability of the unit, but when I try to type on that 0.65 thick box that it has on the 14 inch, it's hard to type, right? And I'm a programmer, they were saying, or I do stuff where I don't need all the power, I just need to type a lot. Uh, maybe I need to do code or just type code in and stuff, and the M2 normal chip is perfectly fine for that. So they'd rather have the thinner design because of the typing, because it's a lot easier to type on for their wrists versus kind of being propped up on that really thick box on the 14, you know, 14 inch MacBook Pro. And again, I'm gonna put it out there because like I said, I wanna be honest here and I wanna tell people like I'll give them their, their time in the spotlight. I agree, I think it is, there's a difference there. So if it really bugs you to type on something so thick like the 14 inch, then you might wanna consider the 15 Air. All right, so now these are some reasons, not so much as far as why you'd wanna buy this over the 14 inch, but these are just reasons why you'd wanna pick a 15 inch MacBook Air up. And if you're gonna pick up the base model, you know, when you start at 1299, it's actually really good, right, number one. But don't, don't forget that they actually, uh, Apple actually kind of unbinned this, or whatever you wanna call it. It's not binned, it basically means that they didn't kind of restrict the CPU or the GPU. So instead of having to upgrade the GPU to 10 cores, it comes like that on the base model. And that normally was like a $100 upgrade. So overall, they're giving you just a little bit better system than the 13-inch uh, M2 MacBook MacBook Air, so it's it's kind of an advantage, you know. Obviously, if you get the 15 inch, you're going to get the, the 10 core GPU automatically without having to pay really any extra for that, and it's actually pretty nice. And that's one thing I totally like about it. Apple finally did something on our side instead of theirs. All right, and another reason you might want to pick one up right now is I just saw it might already be done now, but there was actually on Amazon already for $1,259, so it's already on sale. Um, you know, 1259 bucks for this computer is a really good deal. Again, if you don't upgrade it, you know, then we don't get into the whole debate over the 14 inch. But if you just want the base model, 1259 for a 15 inch screen like this is a really good deal. And then if you get the student discount, I've been getting comments on there that people are getting another 100 bucks off. So they're paying like $1,100 for this system. And I can, you know, I'll challenge a lot of people out there. What's a better system for 1100 bucks, 15 inch, than this one? It's gonna be, I mean, there might be a couple Dells out there that, you know, if you're a Windows user that you can kind of say that they're better or whatever you wanna do, and that's gonna be comparable. But overall, I think this is gonna give everything a run for its money for the cost. And that's kind of a big deal. When you start building it up though, then it starts getting a little more foggy. But at the base model, it's really a good deal. All right, another reason too is a little extra 20 bucks. This actually comes with your choice of a two different chargers for free, all right? On the 13 inch M2 Air, you had to actually go in and buy something extra. Here they're gonna give you the choice of the 70 watt charger, or I think it's a two port charger. It's called, I think it's like 34, 35 watts. Now, key thing here is always get that, seven, I think it's 70 watt, always get the 70 watt charger. There's a reason for that. Because when you plug in your MacBook, you're gonna get 70 watt fast charging. When you use the other one with the two plugs, it's only, first of all, I think 35, or 36 watts, 34, somewhere in there. But the problem with that is Apple doesn't tell you, when you plug in two different devices, it's gonna split that. So each can only get like 16 or 17 watts at the same time. And it's gonna be 17 watts versus that 70 watts. So a huge difference in the time to charge, especially if you're trying to charge like an iPhone at the same time. So even though it's, it looks like it's only half, it's actually a lot less if you're charging multiple devices. So you don't even wanna use that multiple ports because you're gonna really then take a lot longer to charge. All right, another reason too is why you'd wanna pick up the 15 inches. It's bigger bodied, right? And usually that equates to better cooling. So if you're thinking about the 15 inch versus the 13 inch air, just the airs in general, the cooling should be slightly better. Usually someone like Max Tech or someone like that will come out with results later, but they're thinking because of the overall design of it, it's a little bit thicker than the 13 inch, a lot more metal on it. It's gonna be slightly better probably thermals and it's gonna be slightly better performance even though it's the same chip. So overall, I think you're gonna get slightly better performance from this. We'll have to wait and see, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's gonna happen. All right, and another thing is too, the battery. And this is another thing that a lot of people don't realize. The battery I think was like 20, 4% bigger than the 13 inch Air. And uh, even though Apple lists them both at 18 hours, again, through a lot of different testing and all these different websites, you can go check them out. Usually Apple underestimates, uh, you know, when they make them equal like this, they do this with a lot of their products, but the ones that have the bigger batteries, obviously, this one has to have a bigger battery because of the bigger screen, right? But a lot of people are saying it's not, it doesn't equate to that 24% larger. So they're thinking that you're still gonna get better battery overall on the 15 inch versus the 13 inch Air. Even though Apple's saying they're both 18, they're saying that, you know, obviously in real world, 
little tests and stuff like that, and they'll test them as soon as they come out. They're thinking that you're gonna get a slightly better battery on that unit no matter what because of that much larger size. So that's just something to consider as well. And then finally, if you're one of those people that want the best and the newest and you wanna show all your friends, pick up the 15 inch because it's gonna be obviously the brand, you know, the brand new system that just came out. And uh, it's not bad overall, but again, it's very similar to the 13 inch. It's not as good as the 14 inch, but it's got some factors like I mentioned before that make it maybe right for you. I'm not saying it's not right for you. I'm just saying that the 14 inch is a better deal overall. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it at that so I don't get attacked anymore. Anyways, I wanna wrap up the video. I make videos like this every three days. If you guys like the channel, definitely subscribe, help me out. I have, I think around 15 or 16,000 subscribers. I'm trying to get that up to like 50,000 one day. So help me out, subscribe if you can. Let me know some topics you wanna to hear about. If you check out, I, I respond to all the comments as far as I can right now. I don't think I've missed more than one. So check that out. Um, I think that's one thing a lot of people out there can say that they do. And we'll talk to you in a couple of days. Peace.